My name is Mark Finn. I'm uh, 68 years old, live in Naperville, Illinois. Uh, spent uh, my life uh, about the last 15 years here, but I've lived at other places around the world. Uh, my wife, Ann, and I have uh, three gorgeous children, Julia, Kristen, and Paul. I had been experienced for a couple years what I thought were bladder issues. My father had prostate cancer, so I was aware that it might be something to do with my prostate and so on. Uh, my general practitioner said, no, don't worry about it, you you're, think you're okay. They did a few tests to make sure my bladder was you know, operating properly and so on and so forth, and they said, well, why don't you come back in six months? And I came back in six months, and at that point, my PSA had increased, and they said, oh, and they did a biopsy, and then based upon that biopsy, they then said, oh, you have, uh, you have metastatic disease, stage four metastatic disease, and you probably have four to seven years to live. I looked through my various options, and I finally selected a urologist, a surgeon, who thought that the best approach was to uh, actually have my prostate removed, even though I had metastatic disease. And so I had a uh, prostatectomy by um, robotics. This clinical trial I'm on now, uh, I have a little bit more fatigue. And then the other thing is I just really, all the time, focus each day on you know the physical, uh, the spiritual, and the psychological. There's many networks that are available where people can go and get support from other men who are a lot of in the similar situation. And often these support groups I've found have just a wealth of information beyond what you're gonna get other places. Whenever I can, I go to daily mass. My faith allows me to look at that and say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus a lot on what I have versus what I don't have. Someone who's newly diagnosed, the first thing I, I suggest to them is that they should begin to gather all the information they can so that they understand uh, their disease. Secondly, that they make sure they know what their support group is, involve their partner in it, because that partner is going to be very critical to giving support throughout the entire process. People often tell me, ask me to say, well, how are you doing? I say, well, if you really want to know how I'm doing, ask my wife, Ann, because she's the one who can tell you the best about how I'm doing. I might say, oh, I'm doing terrific. And she might say, well, he's the orneriest and nastiest person I've ever met because when, since he's been on this treatment. So she's a great reference as far as how I'm doing. And also, I think you need to develop confidence in your, in, in your health team. When they give you input and you follow their input, that you're confident that that's a good way to move forward. I do recommend that everyone who is in the cancer and particularly prostate cancer journey keeps a journal because that's the way they can track what happened, when it happened, how it happened. Usually when I'm done with the main part of any sort of session, my doctor, my doctor says, okay, so Mark, I know you have questions. What are the questions? And then we'll go through whatever questions I have in my journal. So it's important to really keep that journal because that's the way you're going to be able to be much more proactive in managing your disease, in my opinion. There are some people who get the kind of diagnosis that I received who go through very, very severe depression. It's important to be able to provide people information, provide people support, and be as positive as possible. I have three to five years uh, more because I'm relatively young. health right now, even with my disease, is pretty good. I'm prepared that it might be shorter than that. What I look forward to is waking up tomorrow and feeling relatively good. And so far I've been able to accomplish that, so I'm very optimistic about the future.